I'm Dan Rogert, an equipment manager with the Midwest region. When we engage in voluntary activities or we feel we have control over a situation, our risk tolerance goes up. We're prepared to accept more risk because we've already made the choice that we're going to engage in the activity. At Old Castle, you are 28 more times likely to be hurt off the job than on the job. Because off the job, you're engaging in activities that you have control over and that you engage in these voluntarily. How many of you engage in this activity? So you actually, without a seat belt or anything, you sit on a high powered piece of equipment and roar down the highway. Think about our workplace. If you said, okay, the company standard has changed. We're no longer going to use F-150 pickup trucks. The standard company vehicle is going to be a motorcycle. How many of you would do that in the workplace? Probably not as many. But in our personal lives, we choose to do things that we wouldn't do in the workplace. Can we still do activities like this and make decisions to reduce the risk? Sure. And as an Old Castle worker said, I know the risk associated with riding a motorcycle. But you know what he uses to help him? A track form and high-vis motorcycle jacket. He does a risk assessment and walk around before every ride. He thinks of every corner. He says, I assess the situation out there and plan out what my response would be. When you're by yourself and, you're, and in control, you need a little safety consciousness accompanying you where, everywhere you go. And some form of assessment is an excellent way to doing that. You just start asking yourself these questions. Do I have the right tools and equipment? Am I prepared to, for this? Am I prepared for that? A powerful tool to help you with voluntary activities. On July 3rd, 2012, my uncle was killed in a motorcycle wreck in Izzard County, Arkansas. He was riding down a winding mountain highway with his friends enjoying the scenery when one of his friends wrecked in front of him. Mike overcorrected, causing him to lose control and fall head first into the pavement. He took the risk of not wearing a helmet, which could have potentially saved his life. Mike was a seasoned rider and for the most part a cautious rider. I believe that if he had taken the time to assess what could potentially go wrong and ask himself how bad could it be, he would have made some different choices. If we can teach workers to practice risk assessment off the job, it's going to be a skill that they can use 24-7 all around the clock and they'll get better at it on the job. One group in Old Castle stated you could use toolbox meetings off the job as well, couldn't you? Absolutely. Think about the next time that you and your spouse are backing up the RV. Is it worth a toolbox talk before you do that so you understand the communications, you understand who is going to do what? Without a doubt. Take these tools home, teach your workers how to use them off the job as well.